In this video, I'm going to show you how to prove the integration by parts formula and that formula is the integral of u dv and that's equal to uv minus the integral of v du. So the integration by parts formula actually comes from the product rule for differentiation as we learned in calculus 1. So the product rule for differentiation is d over dx f of x times g of x where both f of x and g of x are continuous functions. So when you differentiate f of x times g of x, what you get is f prime of x times g of x plus f of x times g prime of x. This also means that the integral of f prime of x g of x plus f of x g prime of x dx is equal to f of x times g of x. And this makes sense, right? Because the derivative of f of x g of x is going to be this group over here. And so this means that the integral of this is going to be f of x g of x. Another thing that I want to add in is that you might say, well, the integral of this is going to be this plus c, right? But in order for our proof to work, we're going to say that c is equal to zero. And since there is a plus sign here, we can split the integral apart. So we have the integral of f prime of x, g of x, dx, plus the integral of f of x, g prime of x, x, and that's going to be equal to f of x, g of x. We're going to simplify things by saying let u be equal to f of x and then v equal to g of x. So when we differentiate du is equal to f of x, we get du over dx is equal to f prime of x. So du is equal to f prime of x times dx. As for this one, when we differentiate it, so dv over dx is going to be equal to g prime of x. So dv is g prime of x times dx. And we're almost done. So let's go ahead and substitute the u and v's into this equation. So here we have the integral and g of x is a v. And then we have f prime of x and dx, and that's basically du. Plus the integral of, we have g prime of x and dx, and that is dv. And then f of x is u. So we have u times dv. And finally, we have f of x times g of x. And that is u times v. Last but not least, we subtract both sides by the integral of v du. So we have u dv is equal to u times v minus the integral of v du. And this here is essentially our integration by parts formula. And that's basically it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you haven't already. And in the next video, we will do some practice problems with integration by parts and then trigonometry substitution.